Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. We are going to be looking at multiplying integers in context in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, if you've been watching this series, you know that uh, even though I call this context, the, the main context we've really been working with is temperature. Um, and, and, and I guess I've been trying to figure out other questions uh, for multiplying integers. So if you do have any questions, flick it to me and uh, maybe I can actually go through them. So anyway, let's get going with this question. Question one, what do we have? We've got a midnight temperature is two degrees and then it continues to change by minus four degrees every hour. What was the temperature three hours later? So what we've got here is um, we've got a temperature change. So we're starting with two degrees. And after that, uh, we're losing four degrees every hour and we're losing it for three hours. So what we're going to do is we've actually got to go to take away. Um, well, not well, yeah, take away three. Well, I'd actually put it take away three times four. Because if you think about it, because what am I trying to say here? You're losing four degrees every hour. But we're looking at a temperature after what's happening after three hours. So after three hours, if you think about it, you're actually you've lost minus 12 degrees. And the way I get that is from the calculator where I go negative three, uh, negative three times four. Now, you might be thinking, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why is it negative three times four? And but shouldn't it be three times negative four? You're right. It can be three times negative four because well, I'm kind of saying the same thing, but just different context. Um, I guess in the first one, when I did negative three times four, I'm saying I'm going to, the temperature is decreasing by four after three hours. In this one, what I'm saying is like uh, three times um, negative four, which is going to be negative 12. So either way you do this, as long as you end up with negative 12, um, you're, you're going to be fine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go two minus 12. So when we do two minus 12, uh, we should actually get um, negative 10 as our final answer. Looking at question two, we've got 12 degrees. Uh, it cooled down by three degrees every hour. What was the temperature after two hours? So what we've got here is we've got 12 degrees and it's cooled down by three degrees. So that means it's actually minus. Um, it, it, I mean, like in this question, you probably go, what's the temperature after two hours? So we, we could have actually done minus two times uh, positive three. Or you could have actually kind of said, well, 12 plus two times negative three, and that should also work as well. So I'm gonna show you guys both methods. So you could have actually done 12 plus two times negative three. Either way you do it, um, you're actually gonna end up with the same answer. And let's try it out, all right? So we're gonna go 12, and we're gonna go 12 minus two times three. That's equal to six degrees. And if we were to do 12, plus two times negative three. And again, we're getting the same answer, which is um, six degrees. Okay, let's look at question three. Actually, what I might do is I might just pause for a second here while you folks try these three questions out, and then I'll go through the answer. That was a very quick pause, but hopefully you had a chance to actually um, go through the questions. So what do we got? Question three, temperature was minus eight degrees. Here we go. We're going to start with minus eight degrees. Now it increased by five degrees every hour. Now if it's increasing, that's plus five. What was the temperature four hours later? So we're going to do plus four times five. So let's put this in the calculator. We've got minus eight. Oh, I hate that answer function. Minus eight plus four times five, which is 20. And that should give us a positive 12 degrees. Looking at number four, temperature dropped to minus five degrees. Uh, but then it's, it then increased by two degrees every hour. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so it's increased by two degrees for every two hours. So we're going to go two times two. Uh, because if you think about it, two hours, two degrees. So two times two. Negative five plus four is what we're going to get. Negative five plus four which is equal to negative one degrees. Finally, question five, at noon, the temperature reached 20 degrees. And then what we're saying is decrease six degrees every hour. What was the temperature five hours later? So 
because it's decreasing we've got to go minus 5 times 6 and again this is very similar to question 2 so you could have actually done 20 plus 5 times negative 6 um, either way you do it you should end up with um, negative 10 as your answer and it doesn't matter which way you do it folks um, and of course I mean let's just put this in the calculator just to double check that uh, we're gonna go 20 take away 5 times 6 and that's equal to minus 10 degrees so it's just a quick little um, a few questions on uh, multiplying integers in context now as I said before if you do have other questions um, that are not to do with temperature feel free to send it to my email or any of my socials and um, i'm happy to go through uh, those questions all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here great material for revision and as always thank you for watching